Distinguished delegates, dear visitors of Action Team 6 follow-up initiatives, improve public health by application of space technology and open community approach. This will be a short definition of spatial public health in the context of spatial decision support systems. In this context, we refer to spatial epidemiology and spatial ecotoxicology. Both have some kind of overlap in terms of temporal spatial patterns in public health risk and the allocation of resources. Public health as itself is the multidisciplinary science to prevent disease, prolong lives and promote health. Health itself, in the definition of WHO, is a state of complete physical and mental and social well-being. The attribute spatial refers to the spatial patterns of public health risk, the spatial planning of public health interventions, and the spatial allocation of public health resources. At the interface to United Nations Office of Outer Space Affairs, uh, space application can support in remote sensing, navigation, and connectivity and communication. Remote sensing can be used to detect environmental parameters that trigger a disease vector like mosquitoes. Uh, we can use space technology for public health resources and individuals to guide them, navigate them out of the risk area. And space technology can help for connectivity and communication for public health interventions, especially in remote areas where um, no um, good uh, communication facilities are available and public health response is needed. A spatial decision support system consists of two uh, technical components. It's a geographical information system and a decision support system. Both components together form a spatial decision support system. Um, the GIS is necessary to store spatial patterns of risk and the spatial allocation of uh, resources. The decision support operates on the spatial patterns and spatial distributions in ZRS and so supports, for example, vector control units to allocate vector control measures in certain areas and certain time. It suggests public warnings and uh, creates uh, spatial information for uh, water treatment and so on. Overall, the spatial decision support system should lead to an optimal allocation of resources that leads to an optimized risk mitigation for people that are exposed to public health risk.